All right guys, Jordan here with NAR Snowboarding. It's been a while since we've done some tips, so today we're gonna do tips about how to keep your snowboarding consistent and to keep it, you know, enjoyable and fun. So let's get into it. All right guys, so you wanna keep your snowboarding enjoyable and consistent so that way you can improve on your skills and all that. One tip is music. One of my biggest tips ever. Music is the best way to get yourself pumped up and you really just enjoy snowboarding because you can just flow to the music. Another tip, uh, every time you go to your boots back in, you wanna clean off the inside of your binding because if you get snow, on the inside of your binding, you put your foot on, it's gonna smash down, it's gonna turn to ice, and it's gonna feel like you have like some type of, like some type of wedge or something underneath your foot, and it's really gonna mess with you, and it's not gonna make your snowboarding consistent, it's gonna change the way you ride, and it's not gonna be comfortable at all, it's not going to be enjoyable, so just make sure you guys are clean off the inside of your bindings, so that way you can keep shredded. Another tip is, normally, you have one boot strapped in, right, when you're going up the lift, you come out, put your other boot in and you go. Before you start going, check on your other boot, make sure it's just as tight as the other one. Again, you want them the same so that way your, your riding is the whole time you're riding so you can improve. You don't have to do any micro adjustment to your snowboarding because then you're gonna get used to that, form bad habits, and then your, your riding is never gonna improve if you go back to the normal way, you know what I mean? Another tip is try not to ride with a backpack. If you're free riding or doing some powder riding out in an unknown area and stuff and you need to bring your shovel, your probe, your beak, and all that yeah that's cool but if you're gonna be riding resort try not to wear a backpack it really at least for me it really uh, messes up my riding it puts weight in your back it's just not comfortable and if you want to improve on your riding you want to be the same every time so ride it without a backpack and you'll be able to improve you can't really ride park with a backpack you can if you're really good you're not really going to improve because it's not a consistent basis of how you ride another tip another big tip if you're not having a good day just try not to think of the negative things i had a day where i forgot my headphones so i had to go back down grab my headphones back up realized i left my phone i couldn't listen to any music i get pretty upset when i can't listen to music and snowboard that's my favorite part anyways went back down like all right i got it. and then i just falling all over the place it was icy but you know, I just kept pushing. I kept trying to think about, you know, I love snowboarding and I'm just going to make the best out of this day. And at the end of the day, I ended up enjoying the last bit of the day. So don't ever, don't ever let something little like that put you down, especially when you're snowboarding. Because some people like me, I don't get the chance to snowboard every day or every single weekend. So you want to enjoy the most that you can. So definitely think about that. All right. So another tip for consistency is try not to take too long of breaks and try not to overdo it. In the morning, of course, you wanna warm up, warm up your body. Say you're gonna go ride park and you're trying to improve. You know, keep riding, take short breaks. Try not to take a whole meal because then you might feel bloated and you might not feel the same when you go back into the park. And um, you just won't ride the same if you're feeling a different way. So like I've been saying, you wanna try to stay the same comfort level throughout your riding throughout the day. Although you will get tired at the end of the day. It's just human. Try to keep consistent as you can so that way you can improve your riding. Another tip, just be comfortable, you know. Wear something comfortable. Don't wear anything too tight, too loose. Wear something you're gonna be comfortable with and you're gonna be warm. Because when you're cold, it's miserable. But you just wanna be comfortable and make sure you're good. You're not gonna get hypothermia. You're not gonna get frostbite. And you're not gonna sweat too much. So keeping your, your layers regulated and making sure you're wearing something that you enjoy to wear and that is comfy for your riding so you can enjoy the day. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Always remember 25% off shred soles. They're awesome, they're a game changer. Get yourself a pair. The link's in the description, you get 25% off. So uh, using my code. Anyways, um, also cassette eyewear, really sick sunglasses. Um, you can get 20% off using my code. Definitely get yourself a pair. They're just super nice, super high quality. Um, and they're cheaper than, say, Oakley's. And they're like pretty much the same quality. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, tell me guys what you wanna see in the comments. Um, trying to get to 100 subscribers within the end of the month. So let's try to make that happen. If you guys could help out, that would be awesome. But uh, 
Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.